Many vehicles are designed to have zero frame angle, which means they're level front to rear. But some utility vehicles are designed to be higher at the rear. By doing so, when the rear of the vehicle is loaded to rated capacity, the frame will then be level. When the frame is higher at the rear, it's described as having positive frame angle. Negative frame angle means the frame is lower at the rear. Because of its direct effect on caster, the manufacturer may specify frame angle be considered during the alignment. Frame angle can also be important diagnostic data, especially when attempting to resolve alignment problems that may be caused by vehicle loading. Load the rear of the vehicle and caster will move towards positive. Remove the load and caster moves towards negative. In some cases, a degree change in frame angle will affect caster by a degree. For instance, if an empty vehicle has three degrees positive frame angle and four degrees caster, when the frame angle moves to zero, caster may shift to seven degrees. This might create problems on the road. Extreme positive caster may cause a harsh ride, unwanted feedback at the steering wheel, or shimmy. To prevent caster from moving too far positive, the manufacturer may specify adjusting the initial caster measurement to a frame-corrected caster angle. To do this, measure frame angle with a protractor. If it's positive or high at the rear, add that amount to the measured caster to compute frame-corrected caster. Since our example vehicle has three degrees positive frame angle and four degrees caster, the frame corrected caster is seven. Compare this to the preferred specifications. The required correction will be a three degree decrease in caster. Now, when the vehicle is loaded to capacity, Caster will shift positive to the preferred specification. When aligning utility vehicles, always refer to the manufacturer's service documentation to determine if frame angle should be considered.